there are a few different ways to count words in Emacs. Now, Emacs is, yes, a text editor people use to write code, write programs, scripting, languages, things where word counts don't really matter. So why is it something that Emacs gives you the option to do? Well, there are a lot of people who are not coders, who are not developers or software designers who use Emacs, uh, and particularly org mode. And in those instances, uh, a word count may be important. If you have a daily word goal or if somebody specifically requests that something fall within certain word parameters, there are ways to count your words in Emacs. And it's pretty easy. And there's a few different ways to do it. So you have your choice here. And some people, you know, it's it's not as common today to have when you used to have print layouts where you really needed a hard word count, but it's still something relevant that you may need to do. So here we go. We're going to go through a few ways to count words in Emacs. One of the things that you'll see, uh, which is most common, is counting words in a region. The difference between a region and a buffer is basically you can you can highlight a region. You can do control space and go down a few lines. Now I've highlighted this region. And as you can see there, meta and the equal sign. And a meta, if you're new to Emacs, is the usually the alt key on your keyboard. And so you can see at the bottom in the mini buffer there, it's kind of like what you would get out of on your on your Unixy uh, command line where you might uh, do a WC word count, which gives you the lines and the words of your you know your standard input or a, a file, you know, whatever you give it. Uh, that's kind of the output you get here. So now we've just counted the region, and what you'll you'll see that sometimes what people will do is they'll recommend just uh, basically highlighting the whole buffer. So that would be control space and then the key H. Whoops. Uh, I usually do this so fast. Uh, well, what is it again? <laughs> uh, sorry, control X H. <laughs> control X H will highlight mar or mark the, the whole buffer as a region. And then you can do meta equals. And uh, you'll see the buffer I'm working with here is 250 words. Um, and that's the problem when you're um, when you get really fast with the Emacs keys. It's hard to do them in slow motion during a demo, but no big deal. So the um, the other one which I find I'm using more often is basically just a, a function called count words, which counts uh, everything in the buffer, and you don't have to highlight a region. So that's um, meta x. And you do count words, and it gives you the basically the same thing we did when we highlighted the the whole the whole buffer basically. And I believe there's a shortcut. Let's see, meta x uh, cow w. Yeah, it does the same thing. So that's a shortened, um, just truncated version. Um, so basically, yeah, that is a function that is uh, I believe built into Emacs. And what you can also do here, um, you can set it to a key binding. So if you wanted to put it on the F5 key, uh, we can run that really quick. So I just evaluated that. Uh, basically, this function here, global set key, sets this key globally in Emacs. Uh, this is you're giving this um, you're giving a string here of the of the key and the function. So now when I hit F5. You see, I get my my nice mini buffer reading down here of the word count. Also, yeah, how many lines and characters as well. So yeah, F5. So if you like to check your word count frequently as you're going, like if you have a, a word goal, you know, you're trying to hit for the day, that's how you do it right there. Something a little more advanced, but might be preferable for some people is the Doom mode line, which is what I'm using here. I was hesitant about installing this um, because, you know, at first it just seemed like a lot of eye candy, like people putting 
the icons and emojis in the the mode line down here but it really does clean up your mode line a lot you'll see in in default emacs every time you have a a bunch of different modes running so you might have org mode plus you know visual line mode or auto fill mode or a brev mode or a company mode you'll have different you start to see these adding up in your mode line because it's telling you they're all active and the, the doom mode line just cleans all that up so it's basically telling me you know my my master mode here I'm, I'm in org mode that's you know that's good enough you know i'm i would know in most circumstances other packages that i have loaded or other modes that are running so you don't need all that extra information it just cleans it up nicely and you'll also notice it gives me a word count here now uh the doom mode line detects you know what kind of mode you are you are in and will display that but it doesn't do it for all so i'm still trying to figure out like it does it for org mode but i'm not sure like if it does it for plain text files we can try it really quick so um let's just do a temp file a temp uh, test.txt save it yeah so you see it's not the the do mode line is not giving me the word count in a plain text file, which is fine because really, you know, I'd only use it for, for org mode. That's because that's what I do pretty much all of my writing in. So that's fine with me, but it is a curious thing. I'd like to know more about that. So I provided here just the basic run through of how you would get the do mode line. You do meta X. Uh, package refresh contents return package install return uh, doom mode line i believe you have to have the you'll have to have the melpa package manager to do that probably should have mentioned that but there i just mentioned it so here i also put in my current mode line configuration just for the record so i have a, a use package declaration here for doom mode line ensure t which i believe means make sure when you know when i run my configuration it make make sure this is installed and uh, you can put in a hook here so after init doom mode line mode yeah that enables doom mode line in emacs and set q we set the variable doom mode line enable word count to true t so that gives me my nice word count there and it's worth mentioning here as we're about to close there is a package called wc goal mode uh, which is interesting uh, i used to use that when you enable it it'll take your current word count and it it's not limited to org mode like if you're in a if you're writing in a plain text file or somewhere else it'll give you it'll just drop down your word count there um so it'll actually count up to a goal so say you have a a 500 word goal for the day it doesn't matter if you've already done 10,000 it'll show you 10,000 and it'll show you what you've done since you turned on goal mode so if you want to do 500 in that session you reset the goal mode set your goal whatever it is and I believe you can configure it in your net file wherever you want to put that goal and it'll count up for you and I think it might even you know change color when you hit the goal depending again like if you have like what you have going on in your mode line but that's it those are a few ways to count words in emacs i know that when i was uh, like many years ago jumping between different text editors you install one and then you're trying it out and the first thing you do is you google oh how do i count words and blah blah, blah. if it's not immediately obvious like there's like a, a a gooey window or a button you click that gives you the word count um you know then you kind of have to find out uh, how to do it but so that's how you do it in org mode and that's all there is so thank you good luck in using your org mode and counting your words hitting your daily word goals thanks for watching i'll see you later